solving word problems in subtraction. Reading and solving some subtraction word problems can be a challenge for some students. Here are some helpful steps that can be used to make solving subtraction word problems easier. 1. Read, read the problem for understanding. 2. Examine. Look for keywords or phrases. Determine what is asked and what information is given. 3. Underline. Underline the important facts. 4. Draw. Draw a picture if needed to help solve the problem. 5. Write. Write a statement and decide the number operation or strategy to be used. 6. Solve. Solve the problem. Show your working. And 7. Evaluate. Ask yourself, does my answer make sense? If not, try again. Let's look at the example. A vendor had 3,450 oranges. If he sold 2,335 oranges, how many does he have left? So we have read the problem. Let's examine four keywords, information given and what is required. We're also going to underline the important facts. So here we have underline our important facts. We look at our keywords and our information given. We had 3,450 oranges. Then we look at the number of oranges sold. And then what is required? How many does he have? Then we're going to draw the information. So here we have our first part of our information. The vendor had. Here we have the number of oranges he started with. Then here we have how many oranges he sold from the amount that he started with. And here we are to find out how many oranges he has left. So from our picture, we can move on to our statement. Let's write the statement. So here we have that keyword also left highlighted. That's the information, that's what we have to find out. So we have our statement from our drawing. The vendor had 3,450 oranges. He sold 2,335 oranges. And he has this question mark oranges left. Now, we have to solve the problem. Now, since I must calculate how many oranges he had left, I must subtract. So I'm going to subtract how many he started with, how many he sold, and when I subtract how many he sold from how many he started with, I have 1,115 oranges left. So I subtracted 7. Now evaluate by asking if your answer makes sense. So if you're going to check it over to make sure you know you did your calculations and everything correctly. Makes sense, you check the calculations, then you're on the right path. So here we have our answer. The vendor has 1,115 oranges left. Another example, Mrs. Patrick went to the grocery with $400. She 
she spent $397.25. How much change did she receive? So we read our problem. Identify and underline keywords and important facts. Let me identify what is required. So our information that is required, how much change did she receive? Highlighted. Our information. Now we're going to draw our facts. So here we have Mrs. Patrick, how much she started with. She had $400. She spent $397.25 from that $400 she started with. So we want to find out how much is her change. So we have drawn information. Now we're going to write statement. Mrs. Patrick had $400. She spent $397.25 and we need to work out for the side on the operation to be used and solve the problem. So we have solved the problem. Now we're going to evaluate. So we have solved by using subtraction. Here's the subtraction sign next to the $307.25. When we worked it, we got $2.75 as your change received. Remember to evaluate, check your working to make sure no errors remain. After evaluating, the answer is correct. And here we have the final answer. Mrs. Patrick received $2.75 change. Now remember to read your problem, examine for keywords, information given, and what is required. Three, underline the important facts. Four, Draw the information. Five, write a statement. Six, solve the problem and show your working. Seven, evaluate your answer. And after a while evaluating, you make corrections where necessary. So these are the helpful steps in solving subtraction word problems.